Uh, there was hour. there was one more question. It's an interesting one. Um, <laughs> it's called, have you ever visited Hever Everfall? Sorry. I, and I think in a certain sense, yes, because ever since, like, I would say after the callbacks is when I started having dreams about the universe. Without having read the book yet, I was um, having, you know, like either in character or kind of just, and sometimes it was in other people's character within that scene, like the thugs that, that come in and fight. like, a, And so I would start having those types of dreams. And then as soon as I read the book, I would say like once every like maybe 10 days, I have this dream where I'm, you know, complete like ever fall land yeah where like and, and it, it it's so cool because i Whoa. know that like and it's because of how good the world building that chad wrote is you know like if the world that you're building isn't great then i don't feel like my subconscious would necessarily bring me into that world but yeah i like and i love waking up like often i don't remember a lot of it but i just know i felt like such i, I was queen of the world in this world and i was you know, sailing through the skies and like, yeah, no, it's, uh, she's so into it. She, yeah. <laughs> she, I always have she embodies dreams, the super, character super. so much. Yeah. You, you, but... you, you even dream about your minions. <laughs> that is amazing. Yeah. Do you, do yeah. you, and like so barking you, orders at people. <laughs> you have vivid dreams, like quite often you'd say. Yeah. Like I, and I, I would say, because I don't, I don't have to wake up in the morning to anything right now because nothing's happening. And it's often like all my vivid dreams happen between, I would say like nine to 10.30 in the morning. And so, yeah, that. like every, like three times a month, I would say since reading the book, I kind of have snippets of, of the world coming to me. That's oh. amazing. I, I don't have dreams like that very often, oh. but I used to. Like I like had when... the, the final, final like scenes and like that was one of the things which my character is not in, but I right. had a dream of like the whole like trial bit that takes place. Really? Like that was like, yeah. Like you were there watching yeah. the trial? Yeah. I, wow. Wow. Was, I love yeah. the trial scene. Like and obviously like it's, yeah, I, I, I think it's just, yeah how it's described and how i don't know i don't control what my brain thinks of but i'm really happy that it thinks of that because i feel like i haven't wasted my sleep when i have really cool dreams so yeah and your imagination just takes off it's no it's powerful dreaming is important and everyone needs yeah. it um yeah that, that's wow that's so cool i mean yeah <laughs> i, 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 I could talk about dreams that. all day i love them yeah um someone says if you write down your dreams after waking it helps you remember them I did, yeah. I the, the thing is, and I have a few on my, well, I'm pointing at my bed table, but my phone is in front of me. Um, I have written it down in the past, like it's like in point form. Then when I reread it, <laughs> this it's, is a yeah. good answer. <laughs> what, <laughs> what was this supposed to mean, you know? Like, a, and so, like it depends. Some, some dreams I do, um, and I feel like the more, the more I dream, the more I want to dream. And so sometimes I just kind of, you know, when you have those really nice dreams, you just don't want to leave it. And you're like, yes. no, take me back, take me back. And yes, I don't talk, get to talk to people about this ever, but seriously, like what you just described is like, like why I'm still alive. I mean, like, or <laughs> I, I don't know. I just, I love those. It's dreaming actually that like, gives me i don't know the hope and the, and the passion to kind of yeah. just like move forward and because yeah when you those the super powerful dreams mm -hmm. i don't know i don't want to get weird or anything here but uh, <laughs> you, you guys yeah. have the deep stuff here uh yeah well we've all um, experienced we're messed up really actors what can dreams. we say we, we can talk about it yeah <laughs> dreams that you wake up from and you're just like why can't real life be like that or is real life like that sometimes in mm -hmm. some ways or um, you know, or and, and how yeah, did you sure. feel after that dream, Mister? And... <laughs> <laughs> uh, how did I like? Like I wanted to go back, exactly like Anna Caroline said. Yeah. Like, you know, that was so cool, or you felt so powerful, or you felt so good, or you felt such strong friendship or love or like something. 
Um, and I, and actually, I think that's, well, that's a huge inspiration for why I wanted to be an actor and why I love movies is because mm -hmm. movies are, and I, in the behind the scenes for Inception, actually Christopher Nolan and, and a bunch of other people talk about dreaming a lot and how movies are, you know, your dreams play out like movies. And I don't know what started first. Yeah. Dreams were always like movies and then movies kind of replicated dreams or now we dream like movies because we're so used to them and watching them. Uh, maybe it's a little bit of both, but always that, shifting that, perspective uh, and Damn, this is deep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's life is life is deep. <laughs> yeah, it is. When you think about it, there's a lot of uh, unanswered questions like that. That when you think about it, you're like, oh, what Francis, the hell? Francis, <laughs> as our uh, uh, anointed uh, therapist, uh, what do you think about yeah. that? Oh God, I don't know. Uh, I stopped dreaming a long time ago. Oh. Well, if it can, if it makes you feel better, this was one of my most recent dreams. That you didn't dream? I was heavily pregnant. I didn't know who the father was. And then when the nurse asked me, oh, do you want to um, see the father of the child? It was Justin Bieber. Oh my God. <laughs> and the kid was so ugly. Like, uh, wait, wait, late Justin? Such an Just, ugly baby. Is it, was, it late it was, Justin Bieber? It was like Bieber? Benjamin Button. Oh, okay. No, it's early Justin Bieber. Okay. <laughs> so not all great dreams, you know. You don't always dream of Everfall. You, I. Uh, yeah. yeah. Like the the one I, I remember actually one of my favorite one was I was actually Spider Man. See, cool dream, cool universe. I like, I, I want to give a shout yeah. out to. Uh, uh, Sylphin. Sylphin. Which, which says, uh, came for an awesome discussion about sword fights, but stayed for a discussion about dreams. <laughs> and then Maxie Thanks, says, man. oh man, I thought my <laughs> nightmares are bad, lol. <laughs> <laughs> um, this the film Waking Life, I will have to watch it. Thank you, Timothy Dutch, I hope. Uh, Dutch from Red Dead. Uh, um, the the Spider-Man dream. Yeah. Okay. So when I was a kid, I dreamt very vividly a lot, and I and I had three categories of the best dreams ever. There were the Harry Potter dreams, the Spider-Man dreams, and the Star Wars dreams. Like the dreams where I had Spider-Man's powers or Harry Potter magic. Like the emotional intensity and realness and raw. Just, I mean, dreams felt more real than real life, and I'll, I maintain that to this day. Like yeah. I often, uh, but that, and again, that comes from like such the good world building that comes from those universes. Yes. You know, like yes. the star, like those are very strong, complete universes that have their own laws, their own, you know, rules, their own. And I think that's when you know, like the fact that I'm dreaming about being in this book kind of tells me how strong this universe actually is Very, and that's like my main like like it's true yeah. it's true to the human imagination and anything that is archetyp archetypically true or archetypally mm -hmm. true is so much easier like our bodies our souls i mean we we feel those things innately with um yeah if only there were always dreams like that like you know sometimes you just dream oh, of something really it's, sad and you wake yeah. up and you're like oh my god I feel like I'm living a second life and that second life is horrible. Yeah. <laughs> and then you spend yeah, the whole day right, thinking true. about so, it and it's horrible and you have a bad day. <laughs> I but, actually had a bunch of nightmares after the callbacks of like <laughs> you guys like pretty much going like, cause and I remember when we were doing the callbacks, you guys said something like, oh, Jenna, you just keep everything the same. You're nailing it. And I was like, oh, that's the worst thing you could have told me. Because yeah. now my hopes are up. No, my hopes. And I remember yeah. my hopes coming up, and I was like, "Damn, I'm gonna get crushed. I'm gonna get, you know." That that was like, I was like, "Thank you," but like, <laughs> and I remember like having those nightmares of like just the bad news, like, "Hi, loved what you did." Unfortunately, and then like I like I just remember like all these like bad news nightmares came uh, I... after the callbacks. Well, we did fire you at the beginning of the live stream. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It wasn't that bad, if you think about it. 